So come onto the floor. And we're going to do a few different things today. Stretch out our hip area, lower back, buttock area, the glutes. So let's start laying down. So bring your feet to the end of the mat, activate your core, and just roll slowly to the floor. And just take a moment there, shoulders down, or slightly press down. And just take a moment to bring your toes toward each other and then release, keeping those feet about hip width apart. So sitting down slightly towards your heels, pressing your back down, bend your right knee, bring it up, and draw it across toward your left shoulder. So a little stretch through that lower back buttock area. And just bring it as far as you want. Take a few breaths there. Just let everything start relaxing. Keep your shoulders both down as much as you can. Take a breath. Just relax that other leg. And just feel the stretch, letting it happen. Remember, never force in yoga. Just allow things to release and relax. Deepening as much or as little as your body wants. Knee up toward the opposite shoulder. Take a breath. Just relax. Let it release slowly. Just breathing into it. Exhaling any tension. And then releasing that leg, just let it slide down next to the other one. Notice the difference, of course, on the two sides because this is our yoga practice, so we're noticing those things. And of course, again, bring those toes slightly toward each other, feet hip width apart, and just relax the legs. Sitting down slightly toward your heels, bending that left knee, drawing it up, and then across toward your opposite shoulder. So take a moment there, just breathe. Again, just relaxing. That back hip will come up that you're moving the knee across from. So just allow everything to release and relax. Keep that other leg out straight. Just relax it. Let everything release and relax as deeply as it wants. Knee coming as far up and across toward the shoulder as it wants. And again, just breathe. Let it happen. Don't force it. Just add a little weight with your hand, not really pull, pulling or pressing into it. And just feel that whole outside of the buttock and hip area release a little bit more as you relax and breathe. Exhale any tension, just let it maximize or minimize whatever's right for your body today. And then exhale and release that leg and bring it back in. Again, toes slightly toward each other, and then just feet hip with a heart, letting everything release and relax. We're going to do that with a little variation. So once again, sitting bones toward your heels, draw that right knee up and across. And this time, extend the leg out and just hold the ankle or the calf, whatever is good for you. And again, just drawing it up toward the shoulder as much or as little as you want. And again, you can keep those shoulders down, get a little twist into it. Take a breath. Just exhale, deepen as much or as little as you want. And if of course you do this on your own, you can put a little pad or a prop under that foot to hold it rather than your arm. Take a breath. Again, just let everything release and relax. And then bending the knee, draw it back across and slide it next to the other one. Again, toes toward each other, release and relax through the hips and legs. One more time on the other side. So sitting bones toward your heel, back just gently down, drawing your knee up and again, extending the leg out. Now once more, just bring that leg up and over. 
knee toward the shoulder, but leg extended. So that gives you a little bit more lengthening and heaviness to that stretch. And again, holding the calf or the ankle wherever it's good for you. You can put your elbow down for support if that's going to be more effective for you. Or again, put a footstool or pillows or something under the foot if you want to hold it longer. And again, breathing and relaxing, keeping the shoulders down, arm either out to the side or down toward your foot. And again, just drawing that leg and then relaxing. Let it stretch, don't force it, no pulling, just allowing and releasing. Exhale any tension. And releasing that hand, again, draw the knee across, bend it, and run it down to the floor, toes toward each other. And again, just release and relax. And then sitting bones both toward your heels and drawing your heels up. Draw the knees in toward your heart. Give yourself a appreciative yoga hug, drawing those knees way up toward your shoulders and letting that back of your body stretch. Exhaling, head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, coming into staff position. So sitting bones slightly behind you, core activated, supporting your spine, shoulders above your hips, crown to the ceiling in staff position. Just press that gently through the bottoms of your feet. And we're going to bring the right foot up and cross it over to the opposite side. Lengthen up through your spine and then draw your arm across outside that knee. Take your other hand around, shoulder level behind you. Just put it on the floor close to your body. Arm pulling into your knee and deepen into that twist. So just allow again that lower back and glute area to give a good stretch. Remember, the side you're moving away from can come up a little bit as you turn into the twist. Take a moment, breathing. Just relax, crown up toward the ceiling, stretching that spine as much as you'd like. Foot in front, pressing away through the heel, toes pulling back, legs straight, and just deepen as much or little as you want. And then lifting your head, release that arm behind you, follow it around, releasing both arms and your leg back into your staff. Sitting bones again behind you and just core activated and spine stretching apart. We're going to twist, of course, to the other direction. So bend your left knee outside the right leg. Stretch it up. Bring that arm across. And again, just lengthen up and follow your hand deeper into the twist. Take a breath, stretching, exhaling, deepening. Remember, don't plant both hip bones or sitting bones down, but let that back hip lift a little bit so your whole spine can twist and just go as deeply or gently as your body needs to do. Foot out in front, pulling back with the toes, pressing out with the heel, knee as straight as you love it, and hand near your body on the floor behind you. Take a breath. And again, just deepen into that twist as much as your body wants today. And again, releasing the hand, draw it back to the center, releasing both arms and the leg. And back in staff position, just take a moment, feeling that core supporting your spine, shoulders relaxing back and down, crown toward the ceiling. And we're going to do our usual hip warm up, but a little differently. So bring your right foot up to that upper um, left leg just above the knee. Relax through the knee. And we're going to pivot at the hip joint and bring your chest down a little further toward that front shin. So just chest forward. Keep the spine stretching apart through the base of the skull and just deepen as far forward as you'd like. Kneecap toward your thigh, pushing out through the bottom of that foot in front, toes up toward the ceiling. 
And again, just keep pivoting, bringing that just further, feeling that stretch on that back of the glute behind you as much or as little as your body needs today. Take a breath, just relax, deepen only as far as you are feeling it's comfortable for you. Remember, never stress or strain, that makes things tense and tighten. We wanna relax and get that stretch going as much as it wants to, just allowing it to happen. Deep breaths, exhale, keep your spine nice and straight, out through the crown, back with those sitting bones. And again, exhale and relax. And then inhale and sit up and lift the knee, releasing that leg back into staff position. Feel the difference. So yeah, of course, you have to balance the other one. So bring the left foot up above the right knee. Get it comfortable. Relax, press out through that front leg. And again, spine straight, core active, pivot at the hip joint. So that spine is staying straight as you bring your chest down toward the front chin. Take a breath, sitting bones slightly pivoting behind you as you deepen on this side. And again, just only go as far as your body wants to get that stretch going. And then back off a little bit, release and relax. Keep stretching out through the crown, out through the bottom of your front foot and just releasing chest toward that leg. Keep exhaling any tension, just letting that happen to get that stretch right along that back of the buttock area. Take a breath, maybe deepen a little bit more. And remember, always only go where you feel that it's appropriate for you. Don't push it because if you push too deeply, you'll stress, you'll strain, and it will resist, and then it will be as stretchy and effective. So just let it happen as much as your body is willing to do with gravity, breathing, exhaling the tension. And again, deepen only as far as you want to go. And then again, inhaling back upright, release, bringing that leg back into staff position. Feel that area. And we're going to intensify it a little bit with our regular hip warm up. So once again, bring that right foot up to the thigh and let the knee come down a little bit toward the floor. So feeling that back of the leg. And just remember, in yoga, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And how you do it is putting your mind into where you want the activity to be focused. So today we don't want it necessarily in that outer hip joint so much as the back of the body. So put your mind there and let that be your focus. And again, as you're in that position, just maybe pivot a little bit forward so you feel a little bit more stretch there and just let the knee come down. Again, you can put your hands there, but don't press, just add weight and just feel how that stretch is different when you focus instead of on the outside of the hip along the back of the buttock area. Take a breath. Just relaxing into it, letting the stretch happen. Deep breaths, tension it, just let it go. And then inhaling, sit back up, Lift your knee and bring the foot back out near the other one. Again, staff position, just feeling the difference. And of course, doing the other direction. So bring your left leg up, put it as high toward that thigh as it wants to go. You can keep it down in that more figure four mo motion if you prefer. And again, hands on the leg for a little extra weight if you want, or just let it come down on its own. And once again, front leg, heel out, toes up, pivot slightly forward, feel that lower back and hip area along the buttock, more than that outside as you focus today. Take a breath, breathe deep. Let the stretch happen once more on this side. Notice that they're different on each side. Keep that spine nice and straight. Keep stretching out through the crown in that pivot 
as much or as little as you need. And again, just letting the knee come a little further down when it wants to. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then pivoting back up, lift the knee and release back into step. Notice what's going on through that lower back, hip and buttock area. And we're going to go up into child pose. So come onto your knees, feet and knees hip width apart so that you get a good stretch on that buttock area as you bring your forehead down toward the floor. Hands shoulder up next to your feet, shoulders coming down. Take a breath. Let's go as deeply as it feels right for that stretch for you. And if you have a partner in your area, you can have them put your hand, their hands on your buttock area, lower back, fingertips down toward your sitting bones, heel of the palm up near your hips, and just give a little push into that area again for a little bit more stretch as those sitting bones go down. And take a moment. You can do that with your own hands if you want to as well. Or just leave those hands next to you. Let the hips just relax. Take a breath. And a moment. And then bring your hands out in front, right in front of your shoulders. Plant the palms there, spreading your fingers. Keep the feet and knees hip width apart and pivot up onto your hands and knees. We're gonna go up into down dog. So those hands should be a little bit in front of your shoulders. Lift up onto your fingers, press the joints down, the heels up, or the base of your fingers down, the heels of your palms down. So the whole hand and fingers are really supporting you evenly. Elbows, knees, and shoulders straight. Tuck your toes under. We're going to lift the toes and just come back onto the base of your toes. And we're going to push the hips and sitting bones straight up, keeping your arms next to your ears. And sink your heels toward the floor. Push up and back through the sitting bones. Feel again that whole buttock area getting the stretch. Bend your knees a little bit. Chest coming down slightly. And then again, straightening your knees, dropping your heels, lifting those sitting bones and pushing them up and back. If this is hard on your wrists, remember, you can come down on your forearms. It makes it a little more intense in the shoulders though, so be careful. Sitting bones as your focus, pushing up and back. Get a straight line through your whole body as you can, legs straight, and elbows, knees, and Shoulders stretching back through those sitting bones. Take a breath and then exhale and release, walking your hands back toward your toes, hanging in the leg down. Back in your chin, arms just hanging, hands behind your calves, and pull in a little bit more. And again, feel the stretch. And then bending your knees, drop the hands back to the front. Start at the bottom of your spine, lifting the ribs, dropping the sitting bones, and slowly wind it all the way up into your standing position. So mountain pose, feet hip width apart, sitting bones toward the floor. Just feel that whole back of your body getting a nice stretch as you come into shoulders above your hips, above your knees, above your ankles. Spread your toes out and activate the core for that support. Sitting bones coming maybe a little bit deeper and just feel that stretch along that hip buttock area. And don't forget to move. We're gonna stretch the spine apart and just gently move side to side in our windmill. As you do, you wanna be focusing on feeling that stretch in that lower back and hip and buttock area. Just follow the hands from one side to the other, windmilling around just gently, not flopping the arms, but actually just letting them guide you from one side to the other. Take a breath, keep reaching up through the crown. Remember, you want those spine bones coming, stretching apart, so they've got room to do that twist. 
and just feel what's going on through that hip and other area today. And then back to the center, and again, just take a moment, sitting bones towards your heels, shoulders back and down, exhaling any stress and tension. Hands to your heart, inhale, bring them toward the ceiling, a little back bend, not a deep one today, exhaling, hands to your heart, pivot on over, and again, as you drop into ragdoll, really feel that stretch along the hip and buttock area. Remember, where you put your awareness is where the work goes. Hands behind your calves, and again, pull in even a little bit deeper if you want. Take a breath. Exhale. And then releasing the hands back to the center. Again, give your roll up. Just feeling the bones of the spine moving into place. Circling those shoulders a few times back and down. And relaxing. So we're going to do our balance warm up. And then we're going to do the figure four balance. And again, working that lower back, buttock, hip area. So take your favorite balance foot, spread the toes, lifting them. Remember, no gripping with the toes. Knee going toward that second toe, making sure everything's aligned. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Core active, supporting your spine. And once again, sinking into that foot, bring the other foot up. No crossing over, roll it in. And again, bring that knee up. Take a moment there, find your balance. Let's do our little ankle circle as usual. Flex in point. And bring that foot down. Find your stability, shift to the other side. So we're gonna be doing several balance practices today. So get that whole bottom of the foot working, the toes not gripping, everything aligned and ready or activated on your spine, the other leg coming up. And again, feel that stretch where we're working. And as you get into your position, just work your ankle this time, both directions as always, and straighten it out to release. A variation today. So get your balance working on that first foot. And we're going to again bring the knee up and towards your heart, and then lift it a little bit more toward the opposite shoulder. So keep the legs hanging down straight, not crossing over. So that's that rolling at the top of the thigh, and feel that buttock area getting maybe a little bit more stretched. And then bringing the knee back, exhaling the foot down. Shift again to the opposite balance foot, Spread the toes, no gripping, lining everything up, both sides, core actively supporting. Exhaling into that floor with the balance foot, bringing the knee up. And again, pulling it slightly across, legs still straight down, but knee coming over toward the opposite shoulder. Feel that buttock area only as much of a stretch as you want it to have. And then straightening it out, bring the foot back down. Exhale, back in that and pose. And one more balance, we're doing the figure four, a little squat. So again, lift the toes, get the base of the toes connected, spread them out, core active. Bend your knees slightly and bring the foot up and the ankle above the knee. And again, pushing just gently onto that knee, keeping it slightly back, bend deeper into the squat. So whenever you feel that stretch going where you want it to be, pause. Maybe back off a little bit. Exhale. Just deepen as much as you need and want. And of course, you can hold these longer on your own, but for now, come on up, straighten your knee, and bring the foot to the foot. Take that to the other side. So once again, everything lined, core active, shoulders above the hips, above the knees, above the ankles. Bend those knees just slightly, remember toward, but not beyond your toes, and bring the foot up to the thigh, 
just above the knee. Push the knees slightly back on that bent knee. And again, sink deeper into the squat. Take a breath, spine straight, stretch it out. Notice what's happening in your body as you're working. And because we need to release, come on back up, straightening it out, bringing the foot back to the floor. Exhale any stress and tension. And remember, on your own, hold those longer. You'll feel more stretch and release as you do. Again, hands to your heart. Sink deep into that squat, pushing the sitting bones back, knees forward toward, but not beyond your toes. And again, just go as deeply into a little squat as your body would look. Spine straight, pushing the sitting bones back, maybe a little bit up, and then tuck them down and feel a little rounding through that lower back buttock area. Just notice what's going on in your body. And then straightening it out, inhaling, come on back up. Well, let's follow those hands up toward the ceiling, a little teeny back bend, and then swan dive forward. Push the sitting bones back, stretch everything out straight. Exhale, dropping your rag doll. And come to the floor, your child's pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up or head toward the floor once more. Take a breath. Let everything really stretch. Again, you can put your hands on that lower back area and just push those sitting bones down toward the floor a little bit deeply. Take a breath. Those relaxing. And then releasing your arms. Inhale, sit up, and slide up, bringing your feet to the end of the mat. And again, staff position, feet hip width apart, core active, spine nice and straight. Keep that core working as you slowly bring your body to the floor. Take a moment and breathe as you get all the way down. Exhale, any tension. Bring your arms to T position, palms up. Sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down, bending your knees, and take your right foot to the left thigh. So bend your knee, bring it to the thigh, and roll all the way over to the left side. Hands together on the floor, head on the floor. Remember, pad if you need to, don't overwork your neck, and bring the knee all the way to the floor. Left hand on your knee, hold it there for your big stretch or let it just gently be where it needs to be as you're ready. Right hand above your shoulder, palm up toward the ceiling and lower it into your twist as you look at it for that middle back and neck area twist. And just let that lower back hip area and buttock area get a good stretch with that knee going as much toward the floor as you'd like. And of course, on your own, you'll want to hold this for a really long time because this is a really good release for that area. And if you do it on your own, rather than on the floor, but on the edge of a couch or a bed, you can actually let that knee go a little deeper down, giving that stretch even more emphasized. But of course, never overdo it. Just go as much or as little, as gently as you need to. Take a breath. Exhale and really relax. And then releasing the knee, roll over onto your back. It's like put near the other one. Take a moment, breathing, just relaxing, getting ready, of course, to twist to the other side. Feet hip with the part. Knees slightly bent, back pressing gently down as those sitting bones go straight toward your heels. Bend your left leg, foot to the right thigh. Head on the floor as you roll all the way to the right. Hands together and knee down. Hold that knee down as much as is right for your body. 
Look up at the hand above your shoulder, palm open toward the ceiling. As you let gravity bring that hand into the twist on this side. And again, the more you're holding that knee down, the more that lower back buttock area is giving its twist. Let it happen if it wants to. Never force it. Exhale. Let the ligaments release and that hand drop further when gravity is ready to go. Deep breaths, just exhaling and relaxing. Tension out, allowing that head to turn for the middle back twist. Gravity to bring your hand toward the floor for that middle back twist. And hand to the floor, hand to the knee for that lower back. Stretch and twist. And again, just breathe deep, let everything go. And when you're ready to release, let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot down. And again, as you get back into your starting position, we'll do one more twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, that pressing down, draw your heels up toward your hips, knees straight up toward the ceiling, and bring your feet off the floor with the knees right above your hips. Turn your hands, palms down for a little more shoulder stability, and roll the knees over at hip level toward one side as you turn your head toward that opposite arm. Exhale and just relax. Stay there if that's enough stretch to that buttock for you. But if you want even more, bring your knees up toward your elbow. If that works and you love it, you can straighten your legs uh, out, toward, out toward your hand. And again, only whatever your body is wanting and needing today. So breathe, exhale, just relax. And of course, hold that longer on your own as much or as little as you need. But for now, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, bring your feet to the floor to straighten things out if you need to. And again, feet off the floor, knees right above your hips, rolling at hip level to the side, staying there as you turn your head toward that opposite arm, shoulders both down on the floor. Or bringing your knee up toward your elbow, staying there if that's where you need to be or straighten your knees, stretching those legs out straight toward the hand. And again, as deeply into that twist as much as a little, whatever your body wants and needs. Exhale any tension, just let it happen. And then bending your heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, and bring your feet to the floor. Slide the legs out, hands near your sides, palms up for our relaxation. And again, just breathe deep, let everything go, soften and sink, especially through that hip and buttock area. Toes toward each other, and then just completely relax the legs. Shoulders down, hands, palms up, move your head side to side, let the neck release any tension. Take a deep breath. Soften your belly, exhale, and just let your whole body grow heavier. Sink deep into that surface beneath you and totally relax. And as your body releases, let thoughts of your body release from your awareness, knowing that as you do, other thoughts will come to your mind. No need to think about your body. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let everything go, releasing and relaxing, your mind softening and drifting, your body softening and sinking. Everything just deepening into that inner awareness of the peace within. Take a few moments breathing deep, releasing completely, being peace.
And if you want to keep relaxing, that's a perfectly good thing to do. If it's time now to get ready for the rest of your day, draw energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin breathing more deeply, stretching gently whenever you're ready to do so. And when you're ready, bring your sitting bones toward your heels and your heels up toward your hips. Knees straight up toward the ceiling. So remember a little roll at the top of the thigh, pressing your back down. We're going to bring the right ankle onto the left knee and pressing gently away on the right knee as you bring the left hand behind that left thigh and bring the foot up off the floor. And again, just feel that hip buttock area getting a little bit more stretch. And of course, hold it on your own even longer. But bring the foot to the floor, bring the leg up, straighten it out, and back to the floor so we can do the other side. Sitting bones towards your heels, knees straight up, bring that left foot up, and cross the ankle above the knee. Left hand pushing away, stay there, or right hand behind the right thigh, lifting the foot, pulling it in. And again, only as deeply into that figure four as your body needs and wants. Hold it on your own, or bring the foot to the floor, lift that leg, straighten it out, bring it to the floor. Once more, back to the floor, sitting bones to the heels, knees up toward your foot. Wrap your arms around, final appreciative yoga hug. And again, as we're doing that, notice that hip buttock area, getting a nice little stretch once more. And when you're ready to release that hug of appreciation, bring your head and feet to the floor. Rolling to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today.